Hello everybody, it's Jack and welcome back to another video and uh, the gameplay that you're gonna be watching here is ripped from the stream I had a few days ago um, playing this game and um, I think ever, anybody f for watching that stream that came in and or even those of you that saw it afterwards because I know that there are people out there that like to see the stream later on that since it's recorded and put it on the channel anyway and uh, and uh, first of all I like to apologize because half of the time in this game I am just struggling and um, I know watching struggling gameplays is not the most entertaining thing in the world so for those of you that stick around to see the better gameplays throughout the stream, um, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, this game, is it just seems in this game like half of the time, it just seems like uh, like I've never played Call of Duty before, <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Uh, I miss Black Ops 2, that's all I'm going to say, but uh, that'll be a, a different topic for another video. But anyway, as you can see, uh, this is definitely a boots on the ground Call of Duty, and there was always something that kind of, there's always been this question. Uh, in my mind that has been that I just keep on asking myself off and on and uh, the thing is I personally can't answer for everybody and I have my own personal answer but I'm just wondering the opinion of the community the I'm curious about what the community thinks overall and why and that is why is everybody wanting to go back to boots on the ground as I've stated before I can go either way I can go back to boots on the ground or I can stick with the with the different movements that today's games have and uh, it's rumored that from either 2017 or 2018 on that we are going to have uh, Call of Duty return back to its roots of uh, being all out on uh, boots on the ground with uh, no advanced movements and stuff like that. And uh, it seems that the community is really looking forward to it. And the big question is why? Um, not because I disagree or anything like that. I'm just curious to why the community loves boots on the ground in Call of Duty or even any game for that matter. But let's let's stick to Call of Duty. Um, uh, is it because you are able to play more passively? Is it because uh, it feels more like Call of Duty since Call of Duty obviously started on boots on the ground? Or or what is it exactly? Is it, you know, I'd really, really like to know because sometimes it just seems... Uh, it seems like a mixed bag of, of answers and opinions from every single time I think about it. But I figured since some of you guys that are obviously part of the Call of Duty community that watch me and watch my videos... Uh, I'm sure you guys have your own input on this, and I'm sure there are all sorts of... I'm sure you guys have all sorts of different skills when it comes to this game. I'm sure some of you guys are new, and I'm sure some of you guys might be players that have been playing this for a long time, and... Or whatever stat, whatever your quote-unquote status is in Call of Duty, my question is, why do you guys prefer boots on the ground? Because it seems that the majority, obviously, just prefers to go back to boots on the ground. Uh from pros to pub players and everybody in between. Everybody, most people want that. And if you're one of those guys that doesn't want boots on the ground or doesn't prefer boots on the ground or just doesn't care, uh, let me know. Uh, I really want to know. So um, that is, it's, that's pretty much the big topic that I just wanted to discuss today because I just, uh, it's got me curious because every single time I ask myself, I ask myself, <clears throat> what do I prefer? A boots on the ground Call of Duty or do I prefer advanced movement or do I prefer a little bit of both or am I torn back and forth and I can't make up my mind I, I don't know it's just one of those things that I just uh, can't seem to wrap my head around so I figured I'd ask you guys the community and maybe you guys can give me your answers and the thing is since the majority of people want boots on the ground uh, because I'm more of the I'm more of one of those guys that is in the undecided category I can go either way uh, and just so you guys know, my favorite Call of Duty, personally, is Black Ops 2, uh, as of right now. Even though I haven't played COD 4 yet, and we'll see how COD 4 Remastered ends up being. Uh, as of all the Call of Duties that I played from from uh, Black Ops 1 and beyond, and uh, I did play Modern Warfare 2 briefly, but uh, it's not enough for me to pass final judgment on the game, But and it was such a long time ago as well. So, from Black Ops 1 and on, I have to say that my favorite Call of Duty is Black Ops 2. And that's a full on boots on the ground Call of Duty. When the when that game comes to Xbox One backwards compatibility, I will be all over it. I've already got like 40 I've got 45 days plus played in Black Ops 2. It's by far my favorite. Uh, it was the most fun. I thought it was pretty well balanced especially after they nerfed everything. I mean, sure there's some cheese, but that's that's a whole different topic, but the thing is, I'm asking you guys, the Call of Duty community, and obviously the guys that watch me as well, or anybody that sees this video, why boots on the ground? And if you 
have, if you're one of those guys that either haven't decided or are not sure or it can go either way, again, let it, let it be known down in the comments. Let me know. What is it about boots on the ground or what is it about, uh, about the new or the older Call of Duties that you like or anything specific that basically puts you on one side of the spectrum or another? Because I personally think it's an interesting question. And I personally think that the answer is because that's the way Call of Duty was in the first place. And uh, I guess the whole advanced movement originated from people just wanting change and then Sledgehammer had the balls to basically give us something completely different and then after a little while we decided that we didn't like that and then Black Ops, 2 dumbed it, uh, Black Ops 3 dumbed it down which was uh, an excellent move. They seem to find a, a balance and it seems like Infinite Warfare is going to dial it down just a little bit more and uh, either after the Sledgehammer game that comes out or the one after that which is going to be Treyarch I believe we are going to uh, we're going to see, we're going to find out uh, and I, it's been rumored that the next, at least the next three Call of Duties after Sledgehammer or starting with Sledgehammer are going to be boots on the ground so uh, so what are, what are your opinions on that where do you guys lie and what is you know what is your reasoning because I'm really curious to know and it really is interesting from my perspective to just kind of dig into to the community's perspective and just you know get real in-depth answers because it's been something that's been on my mind for a little bit so I'm like you know what why not just make a video and ask you guys myself so um, if you'd be kind enough to leave an answer down in the comment section that would be greatly appreciated and uh, opinions uh, everything opinions on everything are, are more than welcome and that's pretty much it guys so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background it was uh, it was one of the gameplays where I was where I was able to slowly catch my groove back in Black Ops 1 and like I said it's a game that's a uh, hit and miss for me so I guess it's because I don't play it that much and um, but that's pretty much it and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary I hope you guys answer the question to kind of satisfy my curiosity and educate me at the same time kind of like Black Ops 1 has been doing lately <laughs> and if you like the video let me know and if you don't let me know what I can do to make my future videos better and I'll catch you guys on the next one.